<coughs> that's alright. Qualifying one was disappointing, as I hoped to only use one set of softs in order to maximise the hopeful qualifying free position. I was a few tenths above the drop zone and used the game menu to guess whether I should go back on tra track for another lap and I determined it was not needed. It was. I ended 20th 1.132 seconds behind Norris. 0.167 seconds from Gasly in 15th. I should have been able to get that so it is annoying. Therefore I'll take a full set of new engine and EOS components. I've done this poorly, I should have done this before the qualifying. Anywho, uh, which one's those? No, oh, Daniel Ricciardo and Sebastian Vettel tiring. And we look at Ferrari and McLaren. Ferrari, apparently best team. And McLaren, look to be third, joint second. Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging race. We're here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit today, located in the heart of Singapore. The circuit consists of 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right. It's a track that's incredibly technical, so don't expect to see the drivers taking too much of it at full throttle. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, and it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Russell, and Sir Lewis Hamilton, and Ricardo, Vettel, Gasly, Sainz, and Alex Albon, Schwartzman, Bottas, Kevin Magnussen, and Perez, Stroll, Joe, Esteban Ocon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. And Mick Schumacher, Sonoda, and the engineer. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinkham. Let's talk about the engineer. They've got that grid penalty to worry about, of course, which puts them on the back foot from the get-go. Yes, that's not the position you want to be in at the start of the Grand Prix. Penalties like this put you in amongst the traffic. But we know they have more pace than those around them, so I do expect they'll make strong progress in the first few laps. They again realised they were talking about me, right? Anyway, we'll get ready for the five red lights and the light tower, and away we go for the Singapore Grand Prix, as it looks like winter gets a terrible start at the beginning of the race once again. Down, lingering at the back as the span lock on looks to go side by side with Yuki Tsunoda trying to make early progress at the back of the field as um, Singapore is very hard to overtake at the best of times. So you do not want to be stuck behind one car for long and with the wet weather uh, soon to be arriving it is imperative that if you want to get a good position at the end of the race you make the early progress in the dry. Heading towards sector 2 then, it looks to be a four car battle between Schumacher and Zhou uh, Sonoda and Ocon as Ocon goes down the inside of Yuki Sonoda into sector 2 and it looks to be go to continue through turn 5. Esteban Ocon's got the inside for turn 6. Is he going to be able to pull the move through the exit? Looks like Sonoda's going to get the better traction as we head towards the old Singapore sling. And no one's slinging it in through here except Schumacher on Schlant Stroll. As Stroll battles but is fighting a losing battle and concedes the position to Schumacher as we head through the hairpin then uh, the, le the standings uh, as Lando Norris uh, leads the way uh, followed by Max Verstappen, the championship leader in second place with Charles Leclerc in third Hamilton and Ricardo uh, fourth and fifth with Gasly ahead of Russell in seventh and Sebastian Vettel in eighth Schwartzman ninth Magnussen Carlos Sainz 
just on the edge of the points as we click in up three and there goes a yellow flag for the Williams as he spins around and looks like to be a little bit of rain as well so maybe that could have helped in the spin but winter spins at the beginning of lap three and down 10 seconds he goes I was going to say down 10 positions he goes but no it's 10 seconds as he um, just drops it on the exit of turn three and now has to try and claw his way back maybe with the rain arriving he can use a bold strategy to try and get into the lead uh, of the back markers for this race as we head on to lap six then attempt for the way through the race at the end of this lap and the rain is only getting larger uh, heavier as you can see on the apex of many many of the corners around this circuit 3.6 to the second gap to Ost Esteban Ocon in 19th as um, in the three laps he's had he is closed in seven seconds as the rain is falling ever more now on lap six uh, surely we will see to, uh, begin to see some pit stops maybe it's a little bit early to go for a pit stop now but um, someone with uh, no uh, with little risk really it might come into the pits and that is winter comes into the end of, uh, comes into the pits at the end of the slap is he gonna hit four intermediates or is it going to be another set of dry tires to make it to the intermediates it'd be stupid to go softs again so yes it is it's going to be intermediates going on that Williams and let's see if the bolt strategy from winter at the back of the grid is going to be able to bring him any luck at the moment he hasn't had much around Singapore one of his one of if not the worst circuit in his general opinion uh, he's just really poor around the circuit um, and obviously that's going to reduce your enjoyment of said circuit 30 seconds to gap and then as he comes out the pit lane and obviously with the tyres being a bit cold uh, the gap is only increasing a little bit it's decreasing now on the main straight on the back straight but obviously it's um, with Espan Ocon being in traffic it's only going to stay as um, heading on to lap 9 gap to Ocon looks to be decreasing as Ocon comes into the pit lane along with uh, most of the back of the grid and there it is he gets ahead of Sonoda and Ocon but only manages to slot in behind Schumacher at the moment making up only two places there's Joe Guanyu and Lance Stroll are yet to pit still so he could yet gain a further two positions as um, Lambert and Ice will take the eventual race lead again uh, as we head into the wet uh, into the immediate stage of this race and going lap 10 there's Lance Stroll, there's Joe Guanyu both of them down and out of the race at the moment in P19 and 20 after making their intermediate stops one lap later and then the rest of the grid as we head even further into the intermediate stage spray doesn't look too bad at the moment so I think we're quite away from the wet but obviously the track grip will be fairly uh, poor as um, we head to lap 13 lap 12 uh, following off the back of Schumacher then there's um, not much to change at the front of the field Pierre Gasly uh, ahead of Russell I believe a change from Magnussen being ahead of um, Russell and Sebastian Vettel retiring good drivers of course in P5 and P8 making good progress it seems in this race Carlos Sainz the only driver yet to get a point in this season maybe uh, if uh, he can pressure Schwarzman into a mistake he can get the overtake done unfortunately here yeah, there is a seven and a half second gap that he needs to close in before he can try that his teammate on the other hand is um, uh, seven and a half tenths behind Schumacher in front of him as he makes a little bit of a mistake going through the final chicane and there goes Suzuki Snow trying to make a move on him but colliding into the side pod of the Williams and it looks like there could be damage I'm not quite sure maybe front wing damage for the Alfa Tauri definitely as we head towards lap 13 there's contact even more contact with the Williams and Alfa Tauri as winter goes through turn one 
looking like he has no brakes. Is he going to be able to continue? I doubt so if his brakes are gone. As there's a safety car now called out. And we'll have to see if Winter continues on in this race. Yes, he does. So he didn't have a brake failure. So maybe blatant ignorance and just driving into the back of Yuki Tsunoda there. Um, that is all on Winter there. There's no explanation for driving into the back of another driver. Uh, um, if your brakes are working, as uh, he's lost his complete front wing. It's understandable if um, you could notice him, but it, it was a slight misjudgment from the AlphaTauri driver. There's no need to go and ruin your race by taking off your front wing. I know it's caused a safety car, but he's he, he's going to be dropped down two further positions. Uh, which he could easily have had uh, if he did not make contact with the Alpha Tauri as it looks like George Russell and Sebastian Vettel are coming to the pits and is it now time for the wet tyres as this well knock on Yuki Sonoda, Schumacher, Perez everyone's coming into the pits uh, everyone behind Carlos Sainz uh, includes Bottas, Albon Schumacher, Sonoda, Ocon, Perez, we've already said, and Stroll. And it looks like Joe Guan Yu comes into the pits as well. Yes, he does. As Joe comes into the pit lane, there he goes, a little bit delayed. And there's a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Um, just noticed it on our timing screen now. And uh, so, yeah, he's really screwed his race. Although, at the end of the race, the five second penalty would have screwed him anyway so it wouldn't have been too much of a deal but lap 14 quarter of the way through the race still got three quarters to go could yet still get back to dry tires so uh, anything's possible uh, with a good luck of strategy a good strategy choice and a handful of luck around singapore you could get quite high uh, with Carlos kind of science backing up the t uh, bottom half of the top 10 the bottom half of the 10, 20 drivers that we have. There could be some progress for Bobby as of yet. He might be able to get a point. As we head on to lap f uh, 15, trust me, as um, Winter now catches up to the back of the pack uh, through sector 2. A little bit slow for him to catch up, 10 seconds. Um, not really coming down at all, but as we pass through sector two, um, he's finally able to catch up. Most likely, of course, for um, Zhou Guan Yu um, having to catch up to the safety car as well. As the uh, end to sector three and uh, race control have given us the message of safety car in this lap. And um, We'll be able to get racing underway in conditions that much different, so that uh, that much worse from the for the uh, safety car, and we'll have to see if anyone can change the pecking order as um, Lando Norris still lead the race ahead of Verstappen. This time in head ahead of Hamilton and uh, Charles Leclerc. Danny Ricciardo round down top five. Gasly, Russell, Vettel, uh, top eight. As she, uh, Magnussen and Schwarzman round up the top ten. Carlos Sainz, uh, Bottas, and Perez uh, head the bottom half of the grid. With Schumacher, Albon, Ocon, Sonoda, Stroll, Joe, and Winter rounding off the grid as we head back underway through a green flag racing on lap 16 of 61. Um. Perez not making much progress in this race. I would have thought, uh, even after the 16 laps, it would have been much higher than P13. I know Singapore is a difficult circuit to take, and the wet weather uh, didn't help that from lap 17. But um, you'd think that he'd at least get into the top 10 by then, um, after starting no lower than 17th. Um, 
as we add on to lap 17. Following on Winter, he's dropped outside the second, uh, as along has Carlos Sainz. Seemingly very difficult for Bobby to keep within the um, imaginary DRS range of Joe Guanyu, especially in the wet. He was able to do so in the dry until lap 3 when he spun it, and so he didn't ever get, he hasn't been able to use DRS in this race as we go through turn 5 and he's in the wall is, is he in the wall is that him out of the race it looks like he is as the front wing goes flying and we get an immediate replay of his accident it looks like he's out of the race as he hits the wall through the kink between turn 4 and turn 5 marking sector 1 on the back straight we'll have to see what happens as he goes through turn 4 a lot of back end snaps as he climbs the gear, the gears, just no traction available. And going through, he just has overtaken Abled, turns. This should be quick. Information up is alright, as I had all the time in the lead up to the grid in order to heat the tyres and brakes. Breaking tyres, uh, I've typed. I think I got green grid slot, uh, but I'm not sure as the race was done on Wednesday. Um, no longer six days ago, eight days ago. What I do remember though was the poor start and of course this approach on lap one. Do not overtake anyone. It's going to easily overtake me back on the very next lap. Uh, therefore, by lap three, I was still 20th behind Ocon in 19th, unable to overtake Sonoda. Out of turn 3, I was too eager to keep with Ocon, and the rain beginning to fall, I spun it and I was able to get back underway. But not without losing 10 seconds. That actually could have been reduced. If I think about it, I did spend some time deciding which way to spin back round. By lap 6, the rain was too much and I decided the intermediates were needed to be the boots on my legs of my 22, 2022 machine. Therefore, I pitted at the end of the lap, but no one else pitted. I exited the lane 30 seconds behind Ocon. This only decreased, and by lap 8, when the AI started to pit, the gap decreased to 24 seconds. At this point, he had slowed down to come into the pit lane, so it wasn't a 6 second um, gain from 2 laps. And when they rejoined the circuit, I got ahead, not get ahead, of Sonoda and Ocon, and tailed Schumacher in 17th place. After more people uh, pitting, I got ahead of Joel and Joe. After they did not want to, uh, they did not want a double stack. Lap 12, we made a little mistake out of the final chicane, and so Sonoda pounced, but also collided into me, and I received damage. To what extent, I cannot remember. I then got hot-headed and decided Sonoda did not deserve deserve the part of the circuit he is using and into turn one i used the brakes with less power and i took off my front wing and somehow sonoda was still in front of ocon and caused a safety car um i should have said less pressure and less force not less power I know brake horsepower is a thing, but in, when you're talking about pressing brakes, you're talking about pressure and force, not power. Noted. Yes, I did give myself a penalty, 10 seconds, for actively causing a collision. Therefore, I put it at the end of lap 13 to change front wing and tyres to wet with everyone else pitting. I lost out to the double stack and... After everyone filtered in and out the pit lane, I left the lane 20th after also serving a 5 second penalty for speeding into pit lane after the first stop. I caught the safety car train on lap 15 for it to come in at the end of this lap and get under full speed racing on lap 16. I completed this lap but on lap 17 I went through the bend on the straight from turn 4 to turn 5. And on the transition between dry, the dry patch under the building and the wet patch, either try. Sorry, you had to hear that. It's not funny at all. It's quite creepy, actually. I don't listen back to that. I don't listen back to this, but I'd imagine 
that was quite creepy. I'll try not to do that again. Um, between dry patch and under the building and the wet track either side and the turn well I started sliding and at too high of a speed I went into the wall with no time to react so I gave it up let the car hit the wall with the straightening up of the steering wheel uh, and rebounded to the other side of the circuit I thought that I'd retire at Singapore but not like this this could now mean that I lose a potential 26 points instead of zero if I retire from the lead instead of 20th place in Singapore. I hope Liam's reliability holds out for the final five races now. And lucky for me, my 10 second penalty for causing a collision does not count because I retired. Yeah, this is a horrible race. I, I don't know why I'm so slow. I just have to get better.